This review is brought to you by DwayneWright.com, FileMaker Framework Solutions, virtual one-on-one FileMaker training, consulting, and custom design services. For more information, please visit www.DwayneWright.com. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne, and this movie was inspired from an email that I'd gotten that reads, uh, Dwayne, thanks for all the info you have out there. It has already been a big help to me. I only have been using FileMaker 11 for four months, so I get overwhelmed. Still, I have managed to create a database of 11 tables for a small business. Everything is working great, but now I'm diving into scripts. I've done a bunch of buttons for navigation mostly, and the first one of any real substance is that I'm trying to create a script that will save as PDF my event registration invoices. So I have a separate folder on my PC of the invoices I emailed apart from the database itself. I can't just use the save as PDF script step because I need to name each invoice with the customer's name. I have been told to use a custom dialog box to name the record and then use that value to produce a file path and put it into the variable or into a variable to use in the save as PDF. However, I'm afraid I'm at a loss to where to start and how to proceed to actually do this. I understand how to do a custom dialog box, but I'm well, but beyond that, I'm blank. I wonder if you could steer me in the right direction. Sure, matter of fact, I might steer you in two or three different directions because we do have a, a few different options for this. And let's go ahead and explore. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, this is my in business Soho database. And I had a save as PDF button, and what it did was it brought up this script that bundled a bunch of different output actions and used a, a script parameter to divide it up. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy out the portion for the uh, PDF and create a new script. Uh, call it invoice, save PDF with customer name. And paste in our script steps. We don't need our script parameter. So what it's going to do is from the invoice module, it's going to go to the line items in list view to print it out. That way we can have you know variable size of invoices. It's a common technique. So we're just going to go to the related records, go to a, an invoice to print that out, bring it up into a window, and then we're going to run our save as PDF script step. And you notice that in this one we don't have a path to find it all. Uh, we don't have a name set up or anything, so it would come up with a default dialog box, kind of like you said you didn't want to do. And then it closes that extra window that came up with the go to related record. So what our goal is going to be is to try to go ahead and implant that uh, auto naming convention of the customer name. And so the save records as PDF, we, we see that we have, this is where we specify the output file its location and its name, and we don't have the ability to access the underlying FileMaker calculation engine from here. Uh, and that's what we're going to do to dynamically name the file and where we want to put it. And when you click on Add File, here you also could possibly think, well, I'm going to get my calculation engine there, and you're not. So right now in FileMaker as of 11, you cannot dynamically add a different name to the save as PDF script step. But what you can do is um, point it to a variable. So let's say we had a variable called dollar sign $path. So now we're, we're saying that even though we can't use the calculation to define the location, we can use the calculation engine to define a variable and then call that variable. So it's, it's a weird workaround. So we're going to use a variable called path and so if we say set variable, we'll take that and put that up at the top. So here we can give that variable the name of path. And for the value of the variable, hey, there we have our calculation engine. So here you can just say, well, all right, I just want to use my, uh, 
my contact name and add dot pdf and that is going to give us you know dynamically the name but not you know the direction or where we're going to place it so again this is going to change for each invoice with that contact name it's going to add a literal text to pdf at the end so let's just go ahead and say we'll use our labels so that's going to be the name let's go ahead and say Again, these are just labels, you know, it's, we're commenting out a calc, so our path, let's just go ahead and, you know, do the most simplest type of thing and the get functions. These get functions will know a lot of different things about your co different computer environment and it would change based on each user because their environment would change. And let's just choose one under there called the desktop path. So that's going to be the path to that user's desktop. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and copy that calc. Let's save it. Save that calculation. And let's go ahead and just for giggles, since we have FileMaker Advanced, let's bring up our data viewer. On our watch tab, let's just go ahead and paste that calc in. And this way we can just kind of sandbox to see what our calc is going to look like. And evaluate now. And now you can see that we've got all that saved up. So it's going to work out, it looks like. So we look over here and uh, we don't have that invoice off to the side. Let's go into here. Let's take a look at that one more time. That save as PDF. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I put the path up here. You notice down here I, I checked the option to automatically create an email with this PDF as an attachment. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn that off. And so let's highlight it. We'll click our Run button. I didn't say Perform Without Dialog. Now we scooch over here to the side. We see we have our John Doe.pdf. So what we did before was pretty darn easy. Uh, let's try to take a look at it at a little more granular detail. Let's say if you go, Dwayne, but the folder that I want to put these uh, invoices in or is kind of deep on my hard drive or it's not just on the desktop. I want to put it here and here because I've got this kind of workflow that I'm very fond of. So if you want to take a look at the different paths, matter of fact, even in FileMaker Help and on the website and things like that, you can find a series of articles that talk about, you know, how to, you know, determine where data uh, would go and you know different save paths and that type of thing and that works out pretty good I tend to uh, cheat <laughs> a lot I mean I'll do that but another thing that you can do is um, if you go ahead and take a look at the manage database and then jump into here you can see that I have three fields set up one I have a container field and then I have a, a calculation, and then I guess I just have an auto enter ID. It's probably not going to matter on this one now. But so I have a container and I have a calculation, and inside that calculation I have get as text, and then the name of that file. So let me show you what happens there. So I'm gonna I clicked inside of here, and I'm gonna just go ahead and say that I want to insert a file. And then let's go ahead and go down to that John Doe invoice PDF that we did. And I want to make sure that I have this store only as a reference to the file clicked. So now this, this uh, get as text, what it's doing is it's telling me the exact path of where that file is. And that comes in handy if you want to save your next document there. So we could always just say, okay, I want to copy that entire string. I'm going to go over here to my scripts. And in that set variable, in that path, let's open that up a little bit. I'm just going to paste this in to look at it. Okay, so instead of saying get as desktop path, I'm going to go ahead and copy this entire string and just paste that in there. Now I'm working on a Mac, so you can see that it, is, it does have the file Mac, and this will change between Mac and Windows. Um, 
But that's what's kind of neat about my little cheat is that it'll work on the machine that you're on. You can go to another machine and bring it across and find exactly what that path would be. So if you say OK, that's going to save it to that desktop. And you're like, OK, well that was kind of where we were saving it before. So let's go over off to the side here. Let's just go ahead and create a new folder. Let's call that um, Level 1. And then let's go ahead and open that folder up. And let's create a new folder in there called Level 2. And Level 2B. And then inside of Level 2B, let's go ahead and do a Level C or three rather <laughs> and then let's go ahead and drag John Doe into there back up and so now you can see that we're inside of level one level two level three there's our John Doe file so let's go back and bring up our little temp database and let's go ahead and create a new record and now let's go ahead and do that insert file again Now we've gone down that entire path. Now you can see we have, again, that full path. So let's copy that. And go back to our script. So a variable. Alrighty. Let's move this up, move it over here to the side a little bit. Now let's go to another record. So there's Bob Roberts. So when we run this script to save as PDF customer name, let's go ahead and do what we can to uh, show this off as best we can. So when we do this save as PDF with customer name, if we did it properly, then a new PDF should appear here under Bob Roberts. So let's give that a go. And again, I didn't set, and there we go. So uh, in wrap-up, yes, you do want to set up a variable. There are different ways for you to know what that path is, but you can mix in a literal path or an absolute path uh, and some dynamic record level information. And then, of course, just add this PDF. And we did talk about the get as text as applied to a container field that's stored as a reference it allows us to cheat and see, you know, different data levels. And, you know, you can get more sophisticated at that. There are plugins, that type of thing. But this really should be good enough to get you started.